All right, so um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, repair a uh, laptop battery. I have a battery here for my laptop, and usually it lasts for about uh, two and a half hour. Uh, but uh, now it can only last for about half an hour, and uh, I already removed the uh, the casing. Let me show you. So yeah, you just have to pry off the casing. They all uh, glue together like so. Just pry it off. Okay. Once you get this, uh, the uh, the battery cells out. Um, you're gonna have to find. Uh, bath cell. So here I have six cell battery pack and there must be at least one dead cell in here. Right. But the problem with this battery is they are in in both series and parallel. So this battery pack is 12 volts. Right? And each cell here is 3 volts. Two of these cells are in parallel. Two of these are in parallel. Two of these are in parallel. And uh, these three pair are connected in series. So, so uh, four, eight, and twelve. So between these two terminals from the top to the bottom, that's twelve volts. So two of these in, in parallel. So when you measure the voltage, let me get the voltmeter here. When you measure the voltage, um, it will be hard to determine which cell is bad because if if there's only one bad cell here and the other cell is good, and they're in parallel, then the voltage are the same, and you cannot find. The bad cell by the uh, by its voltage because it's the same voltage as the good cell, so it's um, I would say it's masked by the good cell, so it's hiding the bad battery is hiding in the good cell. Here, let's show you 3.8 volt, right. Three point eight volts. Three point eight eight and three point nine two and three point nine four. So they're pretty much the same. There's no way to find the bat cell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to remove the cells here. Right, and put in a charger. I'll show you the charger. So I have this 18650 charger, and usually, when you charge a bad cell, um, you will know it because it's gonna heat up. It won't take a charge, and it's gonna heat up. So that's one way to determine a bad cell. So I'm just going to remove all the cells, put in the charger here, individually charge them, and see which one will heat up. And sometimes they don't heat up, but they just uh, can't hold the charge. So if I can't find a cell that's uh, heating up, then I'm going to find a cell that can't hold a charge by measuring uh, measuring uh, the load. I'm going to put a load on it and see how good it is. But right now, I'm going to remove the cell and charge it first. That's the uh, easiest way to find a bad cell. Right? 
All right, before we move the cell, I'm just going to show you. Usually, in the battery, there's a protected circuit. And in this battery, the circuit is here. And usually, it's got two terminals, right? One positive and one negative. So the positive terminal is right here. You can see the positive end of the battery pack is connected to here, right? That's positive terminal. And the negative terminal of the, uh, the circuit is on the bottom. So in this case, it's on the bottom and it's connected to the wire, to this wire here. So this is the negative end of the battery, battery pack. So if you measure from 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 this end to that end is going to be 12 volts. Show you. Eleven point seventy six, so about twelve volt between the two terminal of the pack, right? So um just have to remove this terminal here using the uh, soldering iron. Just just uh remove this terminal and this terminal right here and uh there's one wire that goes in here. Usually it does have extra wires, probably one or two extra wires for balance charging. And in this pack there's only one wire, one extra wire for balance charging. So that's all I have to remember when I want to put back the pack when I'm done. Alright, all right, so I've just removed the sails out of the uh, circuit. And there are, let me see. So I number them in, so, so I know which one is which. So, so one A, one B, usually in parallel, these two in parallel, these two in parallel, these two in parallel. Right? So they are connected like so. Right, there's a tap here that connect these two together in series. So I just uh, cut it off and remove. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a charger, right, like so, and charge them first. I don't want to remove them right now uh, individually because um, I'm lazy. Just want to charge them two at a time, like so, and the other two goes here, right? And um, I'll see which one is gonna heat up. That's how you determine the bat cell, right? Like so. Just plug it in, charge it, and if I still can't find a, the one that's heating up. Uh, I'm gonna have to remove them individually, so that means I have to cut this, cut this pair in single cells, single cells, and then uh, I'm gonna do a load test, and that will be later. Right now, let's see if I uh, can find a bat cell this way. All right, so uh, after I charged these batteries. Um, they all charge fine and uh, they don't heat up. So that means um, I have to find out the hard way. Uh, probably because um, these batteries are bad. It's not that bad. When the battery heated up when being charged, that means it's, it's, um, it's become uh, very resistive and it heats up internally. So it doesn't take a charge, but, it, but instead it will heat up itself. But in this case, none of them heat, uh, none of them heat up. So what I'm trying to do next is I cut them in individual pieces. Right? They were in parallel, like so. I cut them in the, into uh, 
individual battery and I'm gonna do a load test the way I'm doing this is I use a spring you can see here this spring I got from a dead printer by the way a printer has got a lot of springs and uh, I just salvaged from a used printer and I use this spring to test the load of the battery so negative to the negative end and the other end go to the positive and it will heat up this ring just like um, what you have in a uh, electric oven right you short out the the tube terminal and it will heat up the metal right in the middle in this case it's the spring and um, it's gonna heat up really fast and I'm gonna only do this for probably about a minute or so and I have to disconnect because I don't want the battery to explode because during the process uh, the spring is heated up and the battery is also heated up so I don't want the battery to explode on me and you probably wonder what's this metal ring for it's for my protection so in case it blows up it blows either side not toward me or the camera so and I also have this to measure the temperature how fast the temperature rise and um, the voltage also how low the uh, the battery voltage is gonna drop while being under load right so let's get to it all right so I'm ready to load test this battery here so already connect the negative and let's connect the positive and let's see how fast temperature is rising so we got 40 some 51 60 90 100 140 see how fast it rise 147 157 my uh, the model doesn't have a good aim so that's why you fluctuate but you just get the highest reading 180 190 it's really fast this is Celsius okay so it's not Fahrenheit it's Celsius 194 196, 198, come on, 210, 217, 220, and let me see how much, how hot the battery is. It's getting warm, but not that hot, so that's a good thing. Let's see how much voltage drop. Two point seven eight, two point eight, two point eight volts. See how much we got here. It's kind of it's decreasing. So the battery is, is at its maximum level now. So it's about 200, 198, 200. 206, 211, 218, 210 220 maximum voltage drop is 2.7 volt now it was at 4.2 volt before the test but this is under load all right so I think I'm good 
it's not this. Wow, the battery is now really hot. Let's see how hot it is. That's room temperature. Room temperature is about 30 degrees Celsius. The battery is 47 degrees Celsius. That's hot for a battery. It's getting hot. All right, about 50, 47, 50 degrees Celsius. And let's see the voltage right now. After being disconnected, three point nine volts. Okay, that's the baseline. I'm gonna compare with the other batteries. All right. All right. I'm ready to try the next battery. Let's see what we got. Eighty Celsius, one twenty eight. That's fast. One forty, one fifty, one sixty. Two hundred, two, two, two oh nine, two ten. Two oh five, one ninety. I think it's maxing out. You see, this thermometer has got a laser beam, but it's not where the laser is pointing at. It's like off, way off. So it's hard to aim at the spring right here. 226, 236. All right. 236 volt, uh, degrees Celsius. See the voltage here? 2.8 volts. This battery is, is a little bit better than the other one. 2.8 volt. Two hundred and forty three. Two twenty five. Two seventeen. It's going down. It's reaching its, its maximum. It's hard to aim. Two hundred and twenty nine. Two hundred and twenty nine. Right, but it's getting hot, so how hot is the battery? Forty forty seven Celsius. Alright, so this battery is almost the same as the the last one. It's getting hot. Alright, I'm ready to try the next one. Sixty-five, ninety, ninety-five, one hundred six, one twenty, one fifty. Wow, that is fast. One seventy, one eighty, one ninety, two hundred. Two twenty, two fourteen, hmm? two twenty five, two fifty, two sixty, wow, two sixty four. This one is definitely better than the, the last one, the last two values.
260, 260, 265, 269, 265, 265 maximum, 272, 273, 270 degrees Celsius that's really hot and voltage is 3.17 that's a lot better that's a lot better you see the spring is bent it's getting bent wow that is really hot spring is really hot now 280 so this battery is definitely, I'm done testing here, better, definitely better. It's harder and it's faster, it's more intense and the voltage drop is less, a lot less. The voltage drop is only about 3.18, 3.2, while the other one dropped down to 2.7 volts. So this cell here is a lot better and it's not as hot. You see, it makes the spring a lot harder and the battery itself is not hot. Let's see how hot it is. 40 degrees Celsius. 40 degrees Celsius. The other one was 47 Celsius. So this cell is definitely better. You see, there's a big difference here. Right, I'm going to put it aside and let's try the next one. Let's try the next one. This is the fourth sale that I'm trying. Right. Let's see what we got. 90. 104, 120, 128. 131, 160, 170, 180, 190, 106, 208. So I can do it better if I do it this way. No, not really accurate, but uh, let's see. It's a really bad aim here. 250 already. Can't really aim. 255, 265, 270. Really bad aim, but uh, have to catch the highest number. 277, 280. All right, let's see the voltage drop here. See it? Three point eighteen volts over three volts. That's a lot better. All right, it's getting real hot. So I think we are done. See, the battery is not as hot. So this battery is um, the same as the other one. It's pretty good. Forty-two degrees Celsius. The other one is 47 degrees Celsius, so that's like 12% less hot, so that's good. Alright, All right, I got my last two here, and uh, let's try it.
95, 120, 150, 160, 170, 180, 205, 211, 220. Wow, this is go as fast as the stock market. I hope my stock goes as fast as this. And we be rich. Where am I at? 195. 200. 260. 270. Two hundred and seventy, two hundred and seventy. Two hundred and seventy six. All right, let's see what we got. As far as voltage drop, three point one nine, three point two. So that is pretty good. So it's the same quality as the other ones, the other two I have over here. So that is pretty good. All right, so let's go with the last sale here. And I have a good a feeling that this one is also good, but uh, because this is parallel as the other one. So, um, let's see. Let's see. 95 already. 106, 136, 150, 160. 190, 205, 203, Checking. I'm getting old. 276, 274. Alright, so let's see real quick what we got here. 3.1417, 3 3.17, so it's the same as 3.15. Yeah, 3.15 volts, so it's the same as the other one. So, and uh, the battery is not as hot. I'll put my hand away. It's going to skew the result. But, uh, what we got here? 38 degrees Celsius. Wow. Well, it's because this test is shorter than the other test, but it's the same as uh, the other one. So, we got four good batteries. And I got two bad batteries. Alright. So this one I wrote down because it seems to be different than the other ones. So I wrote down I got 210 degrees. And the voltage drop it got it dropped down to 2.7 volt. Same as this one. So these two are in parallel and they are back together. down to 2.7 I think this one is down even down to 2.6 volts so that's that's not good so now I found two bad batteries uh, all I have to do is uh, get two new 18650 cells and add them with the other four and put back into my uh, battery pack you know solder them together and put them in the back in here again and put back in the pack and good to go All right folks uh, that's how you uh, find out the bad cell in your battery pack in your laptop battery pack 
um, this this is a long process but uh, this is the only way to find out a bad cell in your pack um, if you got lucky one of the cell may short out and you know it's gonna heat up when you charge it in, you know, individually when you charge it it's gonna heat up and you will know for sure that that cell is bad because they do not really heat up real bad I mean it heats up just a little bit but not too much but when it's bad and it's short out it's gonna heat up real bad that's when you know uh, the cell is really bad but in this case the cell is still is bad but it's not as bad so it's harder to detect a bad cell like this and the only way is to do a load test and this is the only thing that I can come up with cheap way to run my test and um, if you have something like a, a motor or some electronic device that can run on 4 volt you can test it too but uh, I think this is the fastest way to load test the battery uh, it may explode on you so make sure you have some kind of protection this is the only thing that I can find to protect me right now but uh, I think next time I find something bigger than this uh, <laughs> all right and uh, that is all I have it's a long video but uh, I hope you can uh, learn something from this video and thank you for watching